as far as like my friendships right now, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't want to be at anyone who's like, oh my God, I love my friends. Like I have so many, I, you know, everyone's so aligned. We're all like into mental health and spirituality and healing. Um, I think that I don't really, I don't have too many friends right now. And it is really a struggle because um, I think the pandemic, it's just been so lonely on all of us, like for all of us. Um, but the pandemic also, uh, I didn't control it and this, this wasn't my choice, but I think a lot of my friendships just naturally, um, crumbled. No, that sounds really sad. Really relatable because through the pandemic, it really tested your friendships and it showed you who was a real friend that you want to see with, you know, regardless of the risks and who's just like, you know, someone that, you know, but doesn't have to be a close friend. And this is actually an interesting topic friendship in general, because as someone who's changing and evolving and you're so into like spirituality and all these topics, it it, it couldn't be hard to like keep the same friends because I would imagine your friendships change around you. Exactly. That's what I mean. You can't expect the same people to be around you if you're changing and and you have to- All the time. Yeah. Like, (laughs) I feel like that's something that um, I feel like you definitely understand is like, you're always changing and- um, while it's probably a good reason that some friendships have kind of just um, faded away without even like conflict for me, it was, it wasn't even like conflict or just a big thing. Cause I feel like in the past I had been mistreated so deeply by friends and then I had to heal and realize, Oh, like I'm attracting a lot of um, poor quality friendships. But I think now in the pandemic, I just realized like, Oh, my interests have changed the things that um, excite me or I don't know. Also uh, tr- not, it's not trauma bonding because trauma bonding means something else, but just relating to someone on the trauma that you both have been through. That I feel like is what was unfortunately a lot of like the baseline for a lot of my friendships. And once I started to feel better and started to be like, oh, I actually don't want to stay in this job. I don't want to do this. Um, It just kind of like, they just kind of faded away. And um, I think the universe definitely clears the path or, you know, brings you the challenges you do need to learn. So, um, even though it makes me sad and like, I do feel super lonely, especially with this job of being an entrepreneur and content creator. I literally don't see anyone. I have a small team, but like, it's not enough. Like I need friends. Um, no, and I then I, that. yeah, yeah. Right. Like it's like, team a is, loneliness as yeah, a hundred percent. So I think like getting real about that. Um, mm. And then also in this day and age where, you know, everyone meets friends on, or everyone's on the internet, you know? So I did download Bumble BFF. This is not, you know, I'm not sponsored with them in any way, but I did download it like two days ago just because um, I I really would like to meet some new people. And I also don't want to be in a bubble where all my friends are just like me. If anything, that's one thing I hated about being an influencer is that there was a time in my life where everyone was an influencer. And I was like, this is gross not because it's influencers are gross but because um i think the richness that you get from a friendship is by being friends with someone who has a totally different walk of life who has a totally different perspective 